Okay, and we are live. So I'll, I'll just let people settle in. Uh, I, I am looking at the chat right now, so uh, uh, I will respond. <laughs> yeah, um, I, I am kind of bending the rules a bit. You see, I, I was thinking about doing one of these yesterday. Um, but it, it just sort of clashed with a lot of other things. Hang on. I, I've, let me uh, make sure. Yeah, that's the microphone I want. Got that set up properly. I'm not as organised as I used to be. Hi, Ben. Thanks for tuning in. Yeah, as I was just saying, so um, I was going to do this yesterday because I normally do it on the last day of the month, but um, I was a bit busy yesterday and... I, I thought about trying to cram it in with everything else, but uh, it just wasn't happening. I, I just thought, there, there's no shame in waiting an extra day. Uh, yeah, and I mean, I, I don't really, again, I don't have that many drawings to talk about, but I have enough for a stream, I think, so. Yeah, um, I might just wait a little bit longer, just give a few minutes to let... And people arrive. Uh, maybe I'll, I'll uh, send a link to um, sorry. Um, hello. A oh, green blue ant. Yeah. Um, yeah. I, I think uh, you. You, you commented on, on my work before, I think. Uh, sorry, I'm, I'm trying to remember. <laughs> uh, but it's, it's great to have you here. Uh, thank, thanks for tuning in. Yeah, uh, I suppose now Now that uh, people seem to have arrived, uh, I'll, uh, I'll get started. So, well, what we have here is uh, a drawing I've been doing, because I, yeah, I don't have a lot of drawings of my new character design because um, I, I I decided earlier. Yeah, it has been a while. Yeah, thanks very much for joining us. Um, I wanted my dragon Sona uh, to also be a jester, uh, and yeah, uh, for a while now I've been trying to uh, update my reference and. Um, Kind of establish that this is what the character looks like now um, but I haven't really done that many drawings of, of the character in his jester costume but yeah now I, um, I, I drew this um, partly because someone did some fan art uh, and I really liked the uh, the way they, they drew Beluga's face and so I was like yeah I I feel like I want to um, uh... oh you missed me oh, thank you <laughs> my human persona oh yeah yeah I remember now yeah um, and um, anyway so I, I when, when I saw this uh, fan art I, I thought I, I'd like to incorporate some of that into um, the actual design. So the the way I drew it here it was heavily based on that piece of fan art. Uh, so yeah, I, uh, I I'd like to use this as an icon at some point. That's what, what I intend to do. Uh, that was another reason that I drew this is because I, I thought at, at some point I'd like uh, an icon that kind of because all the icons I'm using at the moment are of the, the old non jester version of my dragon sona. Yeah, so uh, and oh, by the way, um, I don't know if I talked about the staff. Um, the, the staff has a name that's Horatio, and it is a talking staff uh, that likes to make fun of people. <laughs> right, let's move on. Um, so, this uh, this was some painting practice I did um, and basically I it was a bit like a paint over because I I did basically just look up you know, obviously it's, it's, this is from Zootopia um, and yeah I, I really just 
Um, oh, it looks like my. Sorry about that. Uh, I think my. Uh, there's there's some, there's been some dropped frames there. I hope you can you can still hear me okay. I hope uh, this, this is coming through all right. Um, and yeah, because I I did I did all this in Clip Studio Paint and. It was, I just wanted to see how close I could get to the original and I think at first glance this looks really close um, but the, if you zoom in and look, look even closer it um, it has a lot of flaws um, but I mean like the good thing about that is that that, that confirms that this, this is not the original image it, it's a, it, it's a copy <laughs> And it was it was quite a good exercise. I think maybe it, 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 the only thing is it's hard when I do stuff like this. It's hard to tell if I'm actually learning anything, and I don't know if I could do it again. It's a lot harder if you're painting something from your imagination rather than re redrawing something, because yeah, I, I this is all based on an existing image. Uh, so I think I talked about this before. That's a lot easier than uh, painting. You want to like if you have like an OC and you're trying to uh, do this this style of painting of your OC uh, with that, you know, because you don't have an existing image to just copy and be like, oh, okay, so that's how it has to be lit. That's um, those are the kind of textures I need to use. Uh, so yeah, I. Uh, I, I don't really know where I'm going to go from here because this is a good way of learning how to draw cheetahs like Clawhauser, but um, yeah, maybe I, I'll. Uh... Oh yeah, I forgot about that. Yeah, that that's true. Clawhauser has a Mickey Mouse shaped spot. Yeah, I you know I wish I remembered that because I probably would have paid closer attention because um, I. I uh, I think looking at this this version, the I, I think I might know where where it's supposed to go. Uh, that's really interesting because yeah, um, that's that's another thing that kind of makes this look different to the original is that I wasn't focusing on the Mickey Mouse I Mickey Mouse shape. I yeah, I kind of just um, did my own version of. The uh, the markings, the, 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 those those spots, yeah. But I'm actually quite pleased with things like how I did the the desk and the items on the desk. Um, the the microphone turned out pretty well. Like it, it, the the top part does look quite metallic. Um, I quite like the uh, the name plaque as well. Um, so and this was just a. A good way of uh, learning how to paint and add texture and uh, shad shadows in that kind of way. Yeah, Easter egg there. That's right. Um, there, there's so many Easter eggs in Zootopia. Uh, yeah, um, but yeah. I think I I, I kind of surprised myself with uh, the, the results here because I I never done anything that has this much depth into it. So yeah, um, I feel like I want to do some more of these and try and learn how I can do my own characters in this style. Okay, this one, this was a, a bit of D&D &D artwork that I did for my friend. I I don't know, because yeah, it, it was um, like, yeah, last year I did some commissions for this same person um, it, it's a close friend of mine. Uh, we we go back a long way, uh, and so he he plays D and D with his friends a lot. So he commissioned me to do one of his friends' characters here. So uh, this is um, uh, Craven, I think. Is is that the name of this? I, I think I've got that right. <laughs> um, let's see, July art. Yeah, Craven. Yeah. Uh, yeah, and I was asked to uh, draw him you know, sinking into this uh, 
ocean and they wanted um, an undead shark in the background so that was part of the uh, of the brief <laughs> and I wasn't really sure how to draw an undead shark I, I looked them up and yeah, there, there were different variations on it I I don't know if it, it, it didn't seem like a popular thing um, there were some artists who were drawn zombified sharks but it, it was very it, it seemed like a, a, a very niche kind of thing like a lot of them look like they're experimenting like uh, it, it, it was something they were doing that was uh, kind of quirky or you know I, I don't know what the right word is but yeah uh, so I, I wasn't able to find an awful lot of good references for that so I just used a picture of a shark as a reference and drew that um, you know, just sort of drew a, a basic shark silhouette um, and I, I just uh, cut some chunks out of it if you look closely you can see that it it does have some uh, little uh, gaps and things, and, uh, yeah. Want to know of the dragon related? Yeah, okay. Um, and so, uh, actually, when I was doing the background for this one, I. I, I, this this is actually the second background that I did. I I, 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 did, I did one, and the only reason I didn't uh, use it was because I basically copied it. Half human, half dragon. Cool. <laughs> yeah. Because um, I because I looked up references and I found one that looked really good, uh, and I, and I just copied it like I did with the Clawhauser one and when I was done I remember just thinking wait a minute that's a bit naughty I shouldn't pass this off as my own background um, so the one I did here was a second attempt and I just kind of loosely based it on photographs I found of like uh, underwater where you can see like the um, surface above uh, so that's what this is, and yeah, I, th I think this this serves its purpose. Um, it's uh, it's not too bad. I definitely still need to uh, learn more about painting. I wouldn't say the at the anatomy is perfect, but uh, I was given a reference, so I I know that because the thing that I was conscious of was. This character isn't particularly tall. He's not incredibly short either, but um, it's, it's kind of below average, I think. Oh yeah, American Dragon Jake Long. Yeah, cool. Um, oh hey Lionel, thanks for joining us. Yeah, so th uh, this is on my D&D &D art. Um, so yeah, uh, and the way, I, the way I do things like this, when I want to add like a, a blue tint to make it look like it's underwater. Uh, I lay down all the local colors first and then I just add another layer that acts like a, um, kind of a, a filter uh, and just fill it with the color, like with the blue color and then um, set the blend mode of the layer to color. Uh, and then I play about with the opacity so that you get a bit of the local colors showing through. Um, that's a good way of just making it look like it's underwater. Um, you only missed uh, the first two, I think. I think this is the third drawing that I, um, I talked about. Uh, at the end, I can show you the ones you missed if you like. Um, so anyway, yeah, uh, I, I think maybe the bubbles look a little bit out of place here. Because um, I knew there had to be bubbles uh, I think I may have, because like if it was a cartoon drawing, then I I probably could have done the the kind of uh, wibbly wobbly ones. Uh, I don't know. I I think I 
Yeah, I, I, I don't. I, I, it's, I, I do try and use as many references as I can, but well, for some reason, when I, I did the bubbles, I did not use any references. I don't think because <laughs> uh, yeah, I've I've drawn bubbles before using references, and yeah, uh, this time I just decided to uh, jump right into it, which is a bad habit, and I, I'm not going to keep doing that. So yeah, definitely could do better, but. Uh, oh, thanks very much. I'm glad you like it. <laughs> yeah, the thing is, because I work on these for so long, uh, uh, that that is something that I'm going to talk about with one of the upcoming pieces. Um, yeah, uh, thanks very much. Uh, so anyway, yeah, and and my friend was really happy with this, so that was good. And it looks like I'm going to be doing some more D and D art in future, hopefully. So yeah, I'm looking forward to that. And this was so. This is Ben's commission. Um, I think I I can't remember this. This one seems like a, a like over a month ago maybe. Uh, but I don't think I talked about this one in the last stream I did. Um, anyway, so this is this is actually uh, my character Sleazy Pie, the big bear you see there. Um, yeah, and and the idea with Sleazy is she's a big bully. I think in the previous one I. I showed that picture of her sitting on mauve uh, and and squashing him flat. Uh, so now she's doing the same to Ben. <laughs> um, so she she's a big bully and she likes to do very kind of slapstick heavy um, nasty things to smaller tunes. Um, yeah, uh, with this one. Uh, I uh, don't um, I, I don't know if I did the best job with the background like the, 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 there's something a little bit off about it um, the path doesn't quite look right um, I, I do because with, with backgrounds I, I don't know how much detail I should put in and how much I should just keep simple and you know uh, I feel like the the bench doesn't quite fit with uh, the path. <laughs> uh, I don't know why I made the sky that color. Um, I think that the sky could have been a a, a, a bit more blue because it it's it's kind of it's sliding into purple. Hey Zark. Yeah, I, I think because it. Yeah, again, I'm, I'm glad. I'm glad you like it, but yeah, because I, I, I tend to uh, overthink these a lot. I think I, I don't know. I I know that there's there's something I could have done to improve it. I'm just not sure what it is. Um, I I think I I gave up a bit with the shadow because if you look, I did. I mean, for, yeah, one one mistake I did make is the, the shading is wrong. I I made a. Um, and I I got the directions wrong. Like if if you look if you look down to um, uh, Sleazy's foot there, um, yeah. The, um, I probably could have chosen some better colors. I I, I need to learn more about colors. But yeah, uh, I ultimately uh, another satisfied customer. So. Yeah, that that was lovely, um, and I think I'll uh, move on to the next one. So yeah, I, I did some turning red fan art here. So uh, as you probably know, this is I I, I used one of the uh, posters for this one. Um, I might enlarge this so you can see the um, hairs a bit better because it, it is really hard to create a furry effect when you're doing digital painting um, and yes yeah, so because the uh, the original image it had so much going on <laughs> thanks Ark. Um, so uh, ooh. 
whatever that was, I need to lock that. <laughs> yeah, the, the eyes were, were really tricky because um, the uh, I do find it quite difficult to get the, the you know the the white blobs to look natural because um, with, with the original image I noticed that they, they kind of have soft edges in parts but uh, yeah. Uh, it's uh, I, I think because yeah, here's the thing because I, I I do get a bit nitpicky about these things especially when I know because I, I was looking really I was spending a lot of time looking at the original image uh, so uh, I, I know how close I was to the original uh, I think there are some noticeable uh, imperfections on this one more so than with the Clawhauser one. Uh, I'm I'm quite pleased with how the name tag came out because uh, I wasn't sure how much d detail I needed to put into that. I think because with the the first reference I used, uh, the the name tag was quite pixelated because obviously it's really small. So when I zoomed in on that, um, I uh, couldn't really see much detail. So I ended up looking out a, a second reference and I found a higher resolution image where the name tag was a lot clearer so that that helped me to uh, do a better job with, with that one. Oh, do you think so it looks identical as I say I think to me it it doesn't quite look right because I, I think I spent so much time looking at the original image but yeah thanks very much I'm, I'm glad you uh, <laughs> feel that way. Have you seen Turning Red? Uh, uh, did you like it? I, I thought it was really good. Yeah. Um, so uh, I think that might be it. Yeah, so anyway, for, for anyone who, for those of you who um, came in late, uh, this is uh, the, the new version of, of me. <laughs> I'm going to be using, I might be using this as my icon for most of my social media stuff. Uh, yeah, you loved it. Cool. Yeah, it was good. Really good. The film I'm talking about. <laughs> so I, I'm, I'm trying to uh, stay. Uh, I'm, I'm doing two things at once at the moment. No, um, yeah, Tony Red was really good. Um, yeah, anyway, uh, so. I'm probably going to use this as my icon. It, it, I, I'm, I'm going to try and use this style a bit more because it, it has a bit more of a crazy look to it and I, I really like that. Well, cuddly. Yeah, that, I agree. Yeah. Um, so this was the Clawhauser painting. As I say, I, I think this one, like even when I look at it now, um, it, it's... It seems almost indistinguishable until I uh, put the original next to it. But yeah, I, I did this in Clip Studio Paint uh, and I'm still quite surprised at how well it came out. And then it was the, this one, my D&D, because &D. I, I did show this one to Zark on discord um yeah um so uh that that's uh everything i think that, that uh gives you an idea of what my month has been like i seem to be able to uh get things done a bit more quicker like not I, I'm, I'm not getting stressed or anything but i i found that it isn't taking me quite so long to do my commissions so I'm hoping that future streams will involve more artwork and maybe I'll find time to do my own stuff because I haven't really been drawing my own characters so much. But I'm, I'm really happy that um, my friends are asking me to include uh, my OCs in their commissions. That's always so much fun to do. 
I really love it when I get to do that. Thanks, Zark. Yeah, I'm glad you like. Yeah, um, so uh, I think that's going to be it now for, for this stream. Uh, thank you all very much for joining me and uh, having a chat. That was, that was really nice. So, yeah, I uh, hope you enjoyed watching me talk about these. So, uh, that'll be it. Uh, thanks very much for watching, and I am off to the pub. <laughs>